All right, today I want to talk to you guys about the Mayo formula and how to calculate the Mayo formula and what it is. And the Mayo stand, uh, MAO, that stands for Maximum Allowable Offer. And as rehabbers, that's a number that we have to follow. It's a true, hard, true number that we need to follow when we're doing our calculations. And the way we get to that number is we take the after repaired value, so after we've done the renovation and get the property back on the market, what we expect that to be. And then we use a 30% factor, and that's 30% is going to, about half of that is called, covered in hard costs of about 10% on every deal. And that's the buying, holding costs, the utilities, the insurance, all that stuff where we're holding and renovating the property, and the cost to resell the property. So that's going to run us about 15, 16, 17% right in that neighborhood. So that leaves us about a 13 to 15% profit margin. And if we don't have a profit margin, we're not doing the deals. We're not going to put up our own cash, or we're not going to put our name and our credit up on guarantees on hard money or private loans to do these deals. So we still need that profit margin. Now, to calculate the mail, let's just for a simple example, let's use a $100,000 ARV. Okay, with $100,000, and we're going to take out 30%, the easy math is to take 70% of that. So that would be $70,000 of the hundred. And then from that, we want to subtract out our repairs. So let's say the repairs on this property was $20,000. Okay, 20 from the 70 brings us down to $50,000. So 50 is the mail. That's the maximum allowable offer that us as rehabbers can pay for the property. So just wanted to point that out to everyone. Keep that in mind as you're looking at properties, especially if you're a wholesaler looking to resell to rehabbers. Those are the numbers that we need to follow. So hopefully we'll be back next week with another tip for you guys.